a warning to all of our speakers, watch out for this. You can trip. Welcome, everybody. Welcome to the 47th Boston Globe Horn Book Awards. The awards were established by the Boston Globe and the Horn Book in 1967 to honor excellence in books for young people. That is the only criterion. The awards are given in three categories, picture book, fiction, and nonfiction. The award year is a little peculiar, running from June 1st of one year to May 31st of the next, encompassing the two traditional seasons, the two traditional publishing seasons. All books published for young people in the United States are eligible. In the case of a picture book, author and illustrator are honored equally. The three judges must select one winner and up to two honor books in each category. Each winner gets a modest check and an engraved shiny silver bowl suitable for candy, checks mix, or mail. <laughs> the honor recipients each get an engraved silver plate suitable for calling cards or loose change. All get our thanks and respect for their accomplishments on behalf of literature for young people. Before we get started with the show, I'd like to thank and introduce a few people. Kathy, who you just met, thank you for 30 years of friendship and for co-sponsoring this event with us for the past four years. We owe Kathy and Simmons the use of this beautiful room and for the lovely refreshments that await you at the close of the ceremony. And Boston Globe, we are so happy to have you back. Please join me in welcoming Ellen Clegg, Globe Director of Communications and the Globe Foundation. Ellen has rededicated and reinvigorated the Globe's support of the awards, and I look forward very much to working with the Globe once again. Another person who has been essential, yes, yay for the Globe. Another person who has been essential in the Hornbook's partnerships with Simmons and the Globe is and don't get a big head over this, but you're going to get mentioned twice, I guess. Hornbook publisher Ian Singer. Please be nice to him. He is a good boss. <laughs> yes, I agree. It could not be a party, and there would not be a hornbook without the hornbook ladies. In alphabetical order, do you think I'm crazy? Katie Bircher, Kitty Flynn, Alyssa Gershowitz, Shara Hardison, Katrina Hedin, Martha Parvano, Cindy Ritter, and Lolly Robinson. We could not do any of this without all of you. Thank you very much. Now, many of you know that Lolly has been having some major medical issues this year, and we're sorry she couldn't be with us tonight. But I talked to her the other day. She was at home cheerfully cooking bacon on doctor's orders <laughs> and looking forward to returning to work later this month. Let me point out Katrina Hedin again. Katrina, where are you? She's over there. She is the person who does the most work pulling this event together. And you should know her because she can answer any questions you have, up to and including what happened to your coat. Apparently, this was an issue last year. Please, when you go downstairs to the reception on the first floor, Bring your coats, etc., with you so the Simmons staff can get the room set up for the Hornbook at Simmons Colloquium, which begins at the crack of dawn tomorrow. <laughs> Katrina, thank you for doing such a great job. <clears throat> and now I would like to turn the program over to our judges. And they are from my left to right. Pam Yaska, who is the upper school librarian at the Solomon Schechter Day School of Greater Boston, and she will be presenting the awards for fiction. Karen Costco, in the middle, is a retired school librarian in Cambridge, and she will be presenting the awards for nonfiction. Starting us off with the awards for picture book is award committee chair Sarah Ellis, a retired public librarian, author of many terrific books for young people, and a longtime contributor to the Hornbook magazine. Sarah, it's all yours. 